Hello, lovable Libra. How are you going? I am. Um, this is my codependent child. He hasn't liked it when I've been doing readings, so he made sure that he squeezed himself. I really should have videoed it. The way he was trying, squeaking under my feet and under my knees and trying to get as close to me as humanly possible so that, you know, he could participate in these readings. And so, as all cute children do, he won the argument. Anyway, so here he is to help share your reading. This is your shadow reading, my loves. I'd like to say for March, but it's not much of March left. So let's just go for the next month, shall we? Or until the next episode. You have access clear thinking this month. And that's a good one for Libra. Because sometimes you have trouble with the overthinking, trying to balance things, like a dog on your lap. Anywho, he likes to be part of the action. Uh, plus, we've gone from summer straight to winter here. We haven't had a, a, an autumn at all, so because he's had a trim, he's a bit chilly. Anyway, back to you. I hope you've all been well. If you're returning, thank you for coming back. It's lovely to see you. And if you're new to the channel, hello, welcome in. Everybody's lovely here, so you're very, very welcome. If you get something from watching this, please feel free to like, share and subscribe. My intention here is to help as many people as possible, including you. And with that, <clears throat> we shall start. bottom of the deck, we have the Five of Pentacles being left out in the cold. Maybe you're, this is what you feel like. So, we'll just clarify that in a little while. As usual, I'm going to lay these out, my loves, and then we'll get back and we'll go through it. Not quite as much room as usual. The Ace of Cups. Nice start, fellas. Then we've got Page of Cups and the Queen of Wands, Queen of Cups, Knight of Pentacles, the Sun, Six of Cups, excuse me, darling, Two of Cups. 11, which is justice, that's your card, blue, the moon, and the six of pentacles. Okay. Okay. So the foundation of the issue is the Queen of Cups, and if you look, she's looking up at the Eight of Cups in the position. Um, it's this, excuse me, there's also a lighthouse in the background, and she's singing. So it's almost like You're calling someone in. You're serenading them, it looks like. Recently, 
current situation is the Ace of Cups, the offer of the new start. And the, it could be from a, an Earth sign. Um, Virgo, Taurus, Capricorn. And it's been a long time coming. Or you could be making the offer to somebody else, but again, it's been a long time coming. But there is this new opportunity, and it's it's taken you some work to get to the stage where you're either ready to accept it or you're ready to offer it. I get the feeling that somebody is offering it to you or has offered it to you, and you're now ready to accept accept the offer and get the cup she's holding um, and it's warm this one's warm now if you go to so you've got the eight of cups and you're feeling like the page of cups so you're feeling very new to this but again you're holding the cup so underneath you might feel like the Queen of Cups, but when it comes to actually making the move, you feel a little bit uncertain. The challenge here is the Queen of Wands. Now, Queen of Wands is fiery, which is a fire sign. Um, or has those qualities. She's passionate, intuitive, and action orientated. She um, she kind of has got this glow. And the uh, the tra challenge for you is to step into that. It's not to avoid it. It's to actually step into this because you are so uncertain. The idea here, and you feel like you're kind of on the edge, you know, of 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 what's out there, what's going on, and and the joy and the fun, and so the, the opportunity for you is to step into this, um, and it's it's a real matter of head up, shoulders back, and seeing your worth. And your value and walking in that you know knowing that you've you've got it you've got the goods and there's the sun to support you it's come out just to support you and shine some happy happy on you the sun is the happiest card in the deck and it's come out to shine over this ace of cups and queen of cups and page of cups and offer the light and the happiness. This is beautiful. I was just looking for a challenge this, this month and I'm uh, over here. Um, coming up is the Six of Cups, which talks about reminiscing or someone from your past. This could be someone from your past, your childhood, or even a past life. But I get the feeling that it's someone you already know in this lifetime and that's why it's been a long time coming. It's been, you know, snail paced. And you've had a life and you've lived through that life and you've done your own thing and then you went through a stage of being, feeling like isolated out in the cold. What you're not seeing is the Two of Cups, another cup. Um, this Two of Cups talked about reciprocal love, give and take, equal give and take. Excuse me, I'll just pause. Oh no, I don't need to, look at that. Um, it's a really nice it's not the lovers, but it's it's quite um, 
it's quite an innocent one. Look, they're kind of leaning back a bit, but they want to be together. It's that real, it is the Page of Cups energy. It's quite cute. And that's available to you. And look at that. It's, it's the sun as well. The sun's out. So this is moving quite nicely. Here's your card. And this is the advice. So the advice to you is step into your authentic self. When it says access clear thinking, this is you. This is you in your best element is clear thinking, balanced, even, um, not too flighty, not too stuck. Um, it's, it's a really lovely energy and it's solid. If you look here, it's very solid and wise. There's an ounce in it. So this is the advice for you. Your hopes and fears, and this is perfect positioning, um, is the moon. You hope that what is being illuminated now is the truth. It's the stuff that you haven't seen up until now. And that's your hope, that this is coming out now and it's not going to be hidden anymore. Your fear is that it will be still hidden that you're not seeing it clearly, that things are still, there are still some secrets and some things being kept from you or you're still keeping secrets and you're not sharing all your, your inner, you know, wishes, hopes, things that you'd really love to, to come true. And by holding on to that, you are in a way blocking it. So step into the hope side and not the fear side. The outcome is the Six of Pentacles and it's it's quite a lovely um, joining. It looks to me like a almost a blended family with equal give and take where everything is balanced and no one gives more than the other and no one takes more than the other and it's it's just it's it's a respectful energy where this is gentle and loving and kind and given with respect and consideration. So that's really lovely. You've got you've got quite a beautiful reading for a shadow reading. The, the thing you have to zen about, calm down about, is the overthinking about what's actually happening. Is it real? Am I seeing it as real or is it an illusion? Is this a real thing or is something going to jump out and bite me? Um, maybe this time I'm seeing it truly and clearly and I'm not going to be afraid of jumping at this chance. So if this is what you really want, stick in the happiness because all signs point to very, very good. I hope this helps. Please let me know because I'm a bit of a sticky peak. So if this resonates, let me know in the comments and I will talk to you soon. Much love to you all and um, bye from bye.